Now this is showing you the setup for pendulum painting and what you will need. So for pendulum painting, you, you can use um, just an empty cup, paper cup, and use a barbecue stick and you can punch a hole straight through to both sides. And then on each hole, thread through a string. So you should end up with something like this. Okay, keeping the string quite long so that you can then attach it to your apparatus that you're going to swing from. So if you're going to work with more than one color, you want more than one of these. Okay, the other, uh, so that's the start. After that, using the barbecue stick again, punch a hole through the bottom of it. If you want more than one line coming out, then you punch more than one hole. Okay, starting with a small hole, you can always make the hole bigger. Okay, but once it's out there, you can't really make it smaller. You will also need your paint. I'm using poster paint because this gets kind of messy and until I've refined the technique, I'm going to stick with this. This does not stain. And what I've done is I've poured it in to just a cup and I'm now going to add just a bit of water so that it's runnier because by itself it won't flow through. You will need to play around with the consistencies. So play around. If it gets too runny, you're going to add more paint. Not runny enough. You add more water. Okay. I'm going to start with this. And so I'm ready. Now I just need to take everything over to the pendulum setup. Okay, so here is the setup for pendulum painting. I am using an old camera tripod that conveniently has actually a hook on the bottom in the middle. I've attached my cup with the strings. Um, it took me a while just to get that a little bit right, but I'm happy with that now. You can also see I've got my ready mixed paint. I have a barbecue stick in case the hole isn't big enough. I need, I need to adjust that. I also have my paint and my water again to play around with the consistencies. I'm, as it's just an experiment, I'm actually just going to work on cheap but quite big flip chart paper. So let's see how this goes. So what you're going to do, you're going to grab your cup and you're going to put your hole over the finger. Pour in the paint. You want, you want lots of paint in there because the pressure will, pressure will push it through. And let's have it go. So I'm going to swing it. Okay, wow, nothing's happening. What does that tell me? It tells me my paint is way too thick. Catch it, put your finger over the hole. I'm going to add more water. Give that a stir. I'm also just going to punch a hole through the cup. Be a little bit careful, you don't catch your finger. But I'm going to just push the barbecue stick in a little further. Stir it up. Let's try this. You don't want your paint too, too liquidy. But you don't want it too thick either. Okay, better. I'm getting some effects now. It. Whoops, that's totally not what I wanted. Never mind, I'm still experimenting. I'm going to try and get more speed. Not helping. Okay, pour it out. I actually quite like the consistency of this paint, so rather than adding more water, I'm going to just make the hole a fraction bigger. Again. Yeah, okay, nice. It 
it's bold, it's big, we have success. And you can stop it at any point whenever you feel like maybe the paint's about to run out and it's going to get a bit blobby or it's no longer really moving. Okay. Excess paint goes back into your bucket and your piece. Gently move it. Remember this is runny paint, so you're going to have to move it flat. Get a friend to help you, otherwise you will lift it up on one side and everything will run. So if you want to keep this really nice pattern, so I might not keep this half of it, but I do like that half, I might keep that. I'm going to have to keep it really flat when I move it. That's it. That's painting and painting. Your turn. <laughs>